Hey, what's up guys? Jay here. We're gonna be going out to the OC Japan Fair right now. Gonna bring the Air City Sling 2 with me. Gonna just check it out, give you guys my thoughts, and yeah, let's go. Are you okay? Yeah. You're sweating it... profusely. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. This is what. Oh no! It's cause the it's cause of the can. Oh. oh okay. I just can't carry all this stuff. I know. By myself, you know. But you don't have a handbag. No. <laughs> I have a bag, but it's like it's too small, you know. Do you want any tokatsu sauce? Ah uh, yes, please. We need I... to come back again. We have so many uh, more food. That's why. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Oh. It's been about half an hour since I got here. Kind of just walked around, check out some stuff, film the B-roll. I'll put it here right now. And uh, I've been wearing the bag like face forward like this. And uh, because it's kind of packed, it's almost full. Like it basically, it's a little heavy and like it's not that comfortable because of the material, I think, and like how it holds its shape compared to like the day sling too. Um, so I basically have to kind of move it back like this. But even if I do this, it's like not very like, I don't know, easy to move, I guess. But yeah, anyways, I got some food. All the other food places are pretty long, so yeah. So I went to the Nado, which I've been there, been there before. They have like these uh, menchi katsu. So let me see if I could like show it. It's really, the lighting's really bad here. But yeah, it's basically katsu. But... Yeah, and then they got the katsu sauce. Okay, so got some thoughts. Wanted to kind of just give my first impressions. First half hour um, with it fully packed, it's a little heavy. And so I had to loosen the strap a little bit so it's not as like um, kind of hard on my body, I guess. Like really stiff, I guess. And the other thing is, I basically kept it in the front the entire time. And so, kind of the issue is, is that if I like try to rotate like this, it's a little bit hard to rotate because of this buckle. It's a little stiff. And even though it's kind of curved towards your body, like it should, I don't know, it's kind of, maybe that's maybe it's the share I'm wearing, I don't know, but it's not really smooth compared to uh, the day sling that I have. Air, so I don't know. All right, DJ Yotaka, come on. With me, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, yeah. A two, a one, two, three. Oh, you Oh, so that was a fun show. Lots of different styles of music for sure, but it was fun. Uh, it's about 9 30, almost 10. Probably gonna go home. Uh, you see that, like, pretty much starting to clear out a little bit because I think this place closes at 10, so yeah, it's been fun. Um, yeah, so I mean, been using this bag for like two hours straight. Uh, it's been on my body, and uh, yeah, it's so far okay. It's not bad. Um, at first, it was a little bit stiff. I think probably eventually it'll, it'll get better, but we'll have to see how to keep using it. And uh, yeah. All right, so I'm back. It's been about a week now. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and early review of this Air City Sling 2. Let's go. So this City Sling 2 model is X pack all over the bag, even the back and the bottom. I'm not entirely sure about the durability on those high wear areas, but man, aesthetically speaking, it looks amazing. It is louder, but personally, I don't care about that as much. Of course, X pack has that water resistance, which is great for those travels when you're near water. There's also zero tag or almost zero tags or branding, except on the exterior where those pull tabs, we got the plastic ones you see there. Even then, they're embossed, so you can't really tell. 
Now, the new top handle is nice feeling and it's very close to the body. However, it's a little thin for my liking, not because it would be uncomfortable under the weight, but it, because it feels flimsy. I worry a little that it may become loose over time with use and lose that nice sleek look that it currently has. You can store the straps using the adjustable plastic and then put them in the pass through on the back of the sling and voila, it becomes a tech pouch, for example. What a nice upgrade, you know? I will say that it is a little bit difficult to do that with a maxed out bag, so it does reduce your overall carrying capacity depth wise. And while I am in love with the design of the Slady Sling 2 buckle from Fidlock, the corners are a little bit sharp. Apparently, they have shaved off a little bit looking at it, but formal function, right, I guess? Um, that being said, the plastic is sturdy and the sliding mechanism is amazingly smooth. Both the City 2 and the Tokai, for example, share the same strap and is thinner than the previous iteration of this product. On the City 2, the Fitlock is 30 kilograms of static force, while the Tokai is 70 kilograms. Just a fun fact, though. I don't think I'll be putting that much force anytime soon. The City Sync 2 has aircraft-grade tension locks, is what they call it on their website. Yes, it uses aluminum, basically. I like the feel of the matte finish, very smooth and soft to the touch. It allows you to compress the bag and get that sleek look when you're wearing it. Functionally, it keeps things moving while in the bag it doesn't really compress a whole lot as the bag is already very boxy and keeps its shape so again form over function who knows i guess that's why they're marketed as tension locks lastly i wish there was a hook loop on either side of the strap to attach a cabiner or something like that as i wouldn't feel confident attaching one to the handle all right so now let's take a look in the inside pockets. So first off, let's talk about the back pocket. Air says that it's meant for your passport or wallet and they mean it. You can use it to store your phone, but if you got a large and bulky phone like I do, it's not really that comfortable given the material, especially if it's fully packed. I wonder if the Kodora version uh, will fare better, but let me know down in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Now the pocket traverses the height of the bag, so there is no space wasted here. And a minor gripe is that it is an alcohol guard, so you know don't have that peace of mind on that pocket, but it is hidden. Um, so the X-Pack should kind of take care of most things. Though I will say that if you probably put an aqua guard there, it's probably too thick to kind of make it hidden like that. But yeah. I think just because that this is the X-Pack version, I'd probably expect that all the zippers would be aqua guarded or have some water resistance there, but it is what it is. Now the front zipper uses YKK aqua guard with a bit of reflective material on the pull tab, which uses Air's minimalistic design. The front is very slim and it fits flatter things like your keys. And I really, I only put keys there. I will say that coming from the Day Sling 2 and the Annex Liner from Code of Bell, I wish they had some tabs because even my two year old Day Sling is a bit hard to open from the front pocket without it. The front tabs, meaning like the ones on the sides where you can kind of pull it um, and hold it with your other hand there. So the main compartment has two zippers where you can pull from either side about halfway down the bag and while using the same reflective pull tab as in the front. Once inside, you can see right away the orange and black for the high visibility. It generally adds a nice flare to the plain gray alternative of the Kodora version. You'll also notice that there is plenty of room to put your things right in the middle. You can see that there's quite a bit of depth there and to put various things. There's a top divider towards the front of the pocket, which becomes a bit sagged when items fill the new mesh pockets below. This is likely due to the mesh divider being sewn in into the top divider. So I hope Eric can use a step of material, or even reverse the location to the back divider to prevent this possibly. The back divider spans the entire inside of the bag where I keep my portable battery in. Right now in the front of that, there's a zipper for your secure valuables. I keep extra mass in there, for example. Lastly, there is an additional secret storage option, which is to put items in that floating area. If your items are short of, you can fill out the extra volume height with something like sunglasses case or something pill shaped, like a tiny water bottle, a soda can, something to that effect that can kind of fill up that 
top half. All right, so after using the City Sling 2 for a while, I kind of wanted to make a pros and cons list. And so let's start off with the cons. So the first one being the Aqua Guard in the secret pocket. I wish they had that. I wish I had some, you know, pull, additional pull tabs for the zipper in the front or zipper on the top. Now, the other con, which is probably the biggest one, is the buckle. Now, while the buckle is very sturdy, again, it's kind of stiff and as I was using it early on, especially, it would sort of scrape my neck, especially if you have it close. That means that I had to loosen the sling quite a bit so that it has more slack and so it doesn't touch my neck because it's so stiff and sharp. So I hope Eric can do something about that or possibly just use the Takai version of the Fedlock buckle instead of the slider one that they're using now. All right, so let's talk about the pros of this sling. I like that this version is all X maxed out. And so it looks really uniform, aesthetically pleasing. And the shape is very symmetrical. So I really, really like that. And I also like that it utilizes the space really well. And there's no space wasted in this particular sling. I like that it has the top handlebar, which is pretty useful, as well as being able to store your strap in the back of the sling there. So with that being all said, do I recommend this sling? Now, it really depends. It sounds like a cop-out answer, but it really does. For me, I can't foolhardily recommend this sling as much as I want to. It, it's pretty much the perfect sling. I think that the biggest issue, the biggest drawback is that the buckle is way too stiff. It's way too sharp. I really wish they went with the other one they used on the Tokai because everything is so streamlined. It functions really well. It doubles as a tech pouch. That's why I've got it. So because it has that ability to kind of be both items there. So if the buckle issue for me doesn't affect you, then I think this is a highly recommended sling. It's pretty much the perfect sling, I think. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys. And yeah. So if you guys like this kind of content, you guys want to see more of this stuff, it would really help me if you guys subscribe and hit that bell notification. And yeah, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm there. You can chat with me out and uh, let's chat. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.